Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that we could do a little Zoom makeup tutorial together. At the moment, a lot of us are working from home and a lot of us are spending a lot of time on Zoom doing video chats and things like that. I put up a makeup look that I did not long ago and it's my go-to Zoom face and it's 15 minutes and it's super quick. Not that many products, but it just makes me look way better. Just super glowy skin. Something that I've been really enjoying is actually wearing a lighter base and just really focusing on the skincare part of my makeup routine. Not using anything too heavy, nothing that's going to clog my pores or kind of build up on my skin. It's all quite super light and it's super easy to take off as well. And yeah, I thought that I would show you that today. Ignore this, this is my fault, but I'm going to show you a product that's going to very, very much help. I'm going to start off with my skincare and I am super excited to say that this portion of the video is sponsored by Ulla Henriksen. Me and Ulla Henriksen have worked together for such a long time and to this day, the most messages I get from you guys saying that a product has really made a difference has been my Ulla Henriksen recommendations. So I'm really excited to talk about the new Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. So Ulla Henriksen, we're one of the first brands to really hone in on vitamin C and use it in their products for skincare benefits. The Banana Bright Serum has 15% vitamin C, which is a really nice high percentage. It's gonna work, right? Vitamin C is great for brightening the skin instantly. Really good as well for shifting any dark marks in the skin. So I, for example, this guy, this guy right here, Vitamin C is going to really help me shift that scarring so it doesn't last too long. I get quite bad scarring right around here, actually anywhere that I get a blemish, but the vitamin C really, really helps. It also has 5% PHAs and hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid, we all know, is great for hydrating the skin. And the 5% PHA is going to be a really gorgeous chemical exfoliator. So you can use this product day and night, two pumps. Just make sure that you're protecting your skin with an SPF as well, just because it is a nice active serum. Something that's really cool about this serum is that it has been proven to work in just seven days. So that's pretty amazing. It is gorgeous for all skin types. The three most important things that this product's gonna help you with are dullness, dark spots, and dryness as well. So you can see my skin's just looking plump. The banana powder inspired pigments help refract the light which smooths out your skin and reduces the overall appearance of imperfections as well. So to lock all that in I'm going to use my C-Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This is probably one of the products that I've used the longest from Ulla Henriksen. Such a gorgeous moisturiser, super hydrating and for me really perfect underneath makeup because it is nice and light. Super hydrating but not too sticky or thick. Oh my goodness. Bringing that right down my neck. The smell, all the smell of these products uh, I'm obsessed with. It's like fresh, zingy, citrus. Oh, it's great for the morning. Really, really nice for the morning. Wake you up. Wake up. And then to finish off my skincare, I'm gonna pop on the Banana Bright Eye Cream, also by Ulla Henriksen, of course. This product has similar benefits to the serum. You've got your banana powder inspired pigments, which reflect their light, which really helps with dark circles. And you've also got, it's collagen boosted, so it's gonna really freshen up the eye area and it's nice and hydrating. This is a bit of a favorite among my friends and family. I've been lucky enough to have a couple of spare ones of these and they always get stolen. Okay, so let's get into the makeup. This is super quick and easy. And a lot of these products you've seen me use time and time again, but they're just my favorite and they're so great for just chucking in a makeup bag. So although that this is a Zoom makeup tutorial, this routine would be perfect for when we're all kind of back to it, back to work, school, college, uni, whatever. So I'm gonna go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going in with the shade five, which is nice, warm color. It's not too different to my skin tone. And I'm using this all over. This is my new favorite thing to do for days that I don't want full, full coverage. I just chuck this on using the doe foot and it is super glowy. I'm not worried about any blemishes or anything like that because I'm gonna spot conceal after but we've, once we've got that in you can use your hands if you like i like using a big foundation brush this is my smith 151 and this is going to give honestly it is just like a filter for your skin it's going to give me a really nice all over glow especially on top of my skincare products just want to look super healthy you can see the glow that's giving my skin straight away it's nuts it's truly one of my favorite things to do right now sorry if you can hear him barking i'm just continuing I'm ignoring. I can imagine this is what it's like when kids are going, mom, mom, mom. 
So I'm looking downright shiny right now, but I love it. So I'm going to go in with my concealer next. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion in the shade 3N. So I'm using a more neutral shade today. And I'm going to go under my eyes just here and then here. And I'm going to top. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of coverage in the center of my face. And then I'm going to spot conceal there. See ya. And then I'm going to go back in with the same foundation brush and we're going to pat that out. And this is going to add a little bit more coverage, but it's also adding a tiny little bit more of a matte finish. It's still a nice hydrating concealer though. And I'm not going onto my eyelid or anything, just sticking to the face makeup. When we're at this step, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number two. And I'm just going to mattify under my eyes and just using pattern motions. And I'm also going to mattify around my mouth because I have a habit of talking quite a lot on Zoom. And I'm also going to powder just the centre of my forehead and I'm going to leave the sides super glowy. There, so it's just perfected my skin. It's super light. It feels like nothing on my skin, which is really, really nice, but it still looks glowy and healthy, which is all I'm wanting. I'm going to go in with the new Airbrush Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade number three. Uh, I really love this bronzer a lot. So I'm just going to use this on top of my nice creamy base. It works really well on top, so I'm just going to do light amounts. And I know that spot's still there, but I'm going to just go over it with bronzer. So that's just adding a really gorgeous colour. I'm going to go down my neck a little bit. It was like as soon as it's got rainy again in Scotland, my tan just went Psh! Good thing about Zoom is they only see your face. <laughs> this bronzer is actually for the face and body, so you can use it all over and it works really, really well. Something that I love at the moment, don't know if you know this, blusher. This is the NARS blush in the shade Luster. So it's like a nice peach colour. And I'm going to go in with my bronzer brush and I'm just going to pat that on my cheeks just for a little bit more life in my skin. And I'm going to go right over my wee nose as well. Super fresh. Okay, next we have eyebrows. So I'm going to use a pomade and I'm going to do my brows a little bit darker than I usually do. And I think that this is what really made the look tie together, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go in with my Benefit Cabrow in the shade number three. So it's not too dark. I'm going to load my brush up with product and I'm going to start at the end of my brow and I'm just going to start chucking that through the tail. So I'm just putting that through the front of my brow into the tail and then I'm using the spoolie to brush them through and then exaggerating and darkening the arch. So I'm going to use my Gummy Brow in the shade number 4 now and I'm just going to use this to set my brow hairs and add a little bit more depth. A little trick that I really love to do when I'm doing a look like this really really natural is go in with my bronzer and a slightly smaller brush like a contour brush and I'm just going to go literally over my lid and do you see that I mean <laughs> it's like the fastest eyeshadow but see when you're in a rush and you don't want to be you know dipping into your eyeshadow palettes and stuff let you get a big brush into your bronzer and just whack it on your lid I don't have any primer on I don't have any base on my eyes at all but it just adds a little something something so your eyes don't look like They've been kind of forgotten about, if you know what I mean. Okay, for mascara, I was going to use my L'Oreal Bambi Eye False Lash Mascara. I really, really love this. But I just opened a PR package today and I have the new Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. And I just really want to try it. So I think I'm going to do curl in length first and then I might chuck on some volume after. And I just want to see how we go. Something that keeps the look looking really fresh is when you just apply mascara to your top lashes. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to go in with the curl and lengthen first. I actually have not seen that many reviews. I've seen the, the photo for this, which looked really good, like the before and after. But then I saw someone on Instagram stories saying, meh, it's okay. Um, I'll tell you what I like about it straight away is it's quite sticky. I do feel like I could absolutely poke my eye out with that though. It's quite a hard brush. But a lot of the mascaras I use are quite hard plastic brushes. I, I think that's really good. I think I've got like okay eyelashes. I don't think they're particularly long. They're curly and they're not straight. If you know what I mean, they don't go straight down. Yeah, there's definitely like fibers in this. Do you remember that awful mascara that came out? I think it was, was it Avon? But it had the fibers, like the powdery fibers that you would put a primer on and then the fibers would go and then you would lock them in but you'd end up with fibers in your eyes and all that. Oh my God, never forget. Okay, I'm gonna just go in with a wee bit more powder. I'm just seeing my skin getting a wee bit, wee bit shiny. I think that mascara's good. 
I wonder what the other side's like. Oh, I just left that open. Let me have a little look. I wonder how much you get. 8.5 mil. Oh! You pretty much get, this is 8.9 mil in the L'Oreal one, and you pretty much get that on each side. So it's like two full mascaras, if you know what I mean, which is quite cool. Oh, I like the volume brush better. I'm impressed. I think my lashes look nice and black and quite thick, which is all I really wanted. At this stage, I'm going to add my little freckles. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick. This is a sponge tip eyeliner pen, but it's brown. So I'm going to use this to do my freckles. And I'm going to do this one right here. Boop, boop, boop. And then my little one that I've made up. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like it adds, you know, attitude. I feel, I feel like my best self when I've got that on. And then I'm, <laughs> I'm going to use the back of my hand to wipe away any foundation. And I'm going to use the Becca Lip Definer in the shade Vacation to line my lips. So I'm going to line my lips, biggest in the centre. And this isn't too brown, it's quite a nice warm shade. Quite close to my natural lip shade, I think. Quite pink. To finish my lips off, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Sweet Mouth. Uh, this is my favourite one of these, I think. And I'm just using it in the centre. And then I just realised I've not applied highlighter. So on my desk, I've still got this product. I really, really like it. This is the Becca Ignite Liquefied Light Highlighter in the shade Passion. So I'm going to take a wee bit on the back of my hand, like a tiny, tiny little bit. And just because we've got nice, fresh skin, I'm just going to pat a little touch of that on my cheeks. Pat it out with my, my Human Beauty Blenders. And this skin is like so touchable. It's really really nice and fresh but I just look a lot healthier I've got a bit more colour in my skin I just think that everything looks lifted also great hack doing your hair like this gives you a bit of a facelift and that's me done ready for my meetings I hope you guys really enjoyed this video thank you so much for requesting that I film this as a tutorial and thank you so much to Ulla Henriksen for sponsoring part of this video I will leave a link to everything that I spoke about down below and other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye! I can't click! Why is my hair like antenna? You're so frizzy. That's better. Oh god, that's worse! The most kind of important things that's going to be like, what? Stupid. This is probably one of the products that I've used that's all over my wall. And again, I'm not worried about any blemishes or anything like that. <laughs> wow, she's glowing. Charlotte Tilbury airbrush blur. <laughs> don't know what this arm's doing. Art. It's always when I'm doing my mascara that I can tell how much coffee I've had because I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs>